In Clearwater, Florida in 1993, Serge Gill committed his life to the Sea Org, the Church of Scientology's nautical-themed priestly order. He was 15 years old and he was moving up the ranks. I was made in charge of a course room that had to do with learning how to use the Emidor machine. But then at age 17, Serge's Scientology career hit the rocks. He was sent to a remedial work program called the Rehabilitation Project Force, or RPF, for Sea Org members who run afoul of authority. His offense, according to the church, misapplication of technical procedures. They come down very hard on things, like they run their own internal justice ethics department. You have to wear black. You have to run everywhere you go. You have to call everyone sir. You're considered the lowest form of Sea Org member. After what he says were two years of physical labor and intensive confessionals in the RPF and another six in the Sea Org, Serge moved to Los Angeles. Eventually, he began associating with the church's critics, which is why the church says he was expelled from the religious community of Scientologists. Was it destabilizing to be out in the world away from everything you had ever known? Dan, I cannot emphasize enough how damaging it is when you find out that your entire life was a lie. When you understand that your parents took you through this whole thing, you never had a chance to decide on anything. And this was all just indoctrinated into you. It drove me to the biggest depression. In the depths of his depression, he says he did exactly what Scientology tells people not to do. He consulted a psychiatrist. Psychotherapy can be viewed as a natural rival to Hubbard's approach to mental health. Don't, don't associate Scientology with such people. Psychiatry cannot point to a single cure. Scientology has described psychiatry as an industry of death. Why is that? Well, I think that's a catchphrase, but what Scientology has worked hard against are abusive practices of psychiatry, not psychiatry in general. You say not psychiatry in general, but an industry of death well, sounds because, pretty general. Well, because unfortunately, there have been a lot of abuses, and psychiatry has caused a lot of deaths. Therapist Rachel Bernstein says those are scare tactics, and she says she sees the impact on former Scientologists she treats. They've been made to feel so scared of therapists in general because they've been told that they're going to be locked in and I'm going to put electrodes on their heads. And it's keeping the blame on the victim. The church denounces Bernstein specifically as biased and unethical. But Serge Gill says his psychiatrist was nothing but helpful. It was the best thing to happen to me because finally I had someone had a clinical understanding of what was done to me and what was sold to me. The therapy with my doctor was everything I wish I would have had, just someone that would listen to me and understand me and not judge me. He says psychotherapy finally allowed him to deal with his experiences and also to see that it was actually healthy for him to cut ties with anyone in the church, including his family. He is capable of manipulating, lying, and saying things that are not true. The church sent us these video statements from Serge's father and his sister attacking his character and his credibility. One thing that should be known about Sergio is that he's a really, really amazing liar. There's people out there saying, stop the disconnection. I say, bring on the disconnection. Disconnect yourself from toxicity because it's not okay, this is insanity. There's nothing that is socially intelligent about this equation whatsoever. Serge says he's now regaining his mental health and rebuilding his strength to take on the church, possibly in civil court. What happened to us as children cannot be happening to any one more child, because it's just unconscionable. With this interview, Serge has now officially joined the ranks of the anti-Scientology movement. 